<laughs> Simple straight. Oh. I can't afford this life no more. Just getting lucky. I'll give you a chance to win your money back. You want in, boss? We have business to discuss, Paulie. We're in it now, boys. One of our associates at the coroner's office sent this over. Corpse's name is Giolotti. You recognize him? Sure. Uh, that's one of the punks we ran out of the neighborhood. Now we got the bullet in the back of his head? Yeah. We capped him. Well, the cops ought to thank us. We did him a favor. The guy was a rapist, boss. Yeah? Well, he was also a city councilor's son. You want to drive a politician into Morella's arms? There's no better way than killing off his family. Oh, Christ. That gets worse. You left another guy in the wreck? Yeah, but he was dead when we got there. You gonna tell me he was the president's nephew or something? Two in the head, Paulie. If you're gonna do a job, do it right. He made it? Yes. He spent the week in St. Mary's, but he pulled through. <sighs> Can he point a finger at either of you? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Look, we're gonna kill two birds with one blast. Galati's funeral's today at St. Michael's. Sam, you're gonna attend. Sit in the back and try to spot the lucky bastard. How will I recognize him? He'll be the one who just crawled away from a car wreck. His arm is broken. Look for a sling. Sam's gonna need a little distraction if he's gonna clean up your mess. Are you sending Tommy to dip his wick? It's a brothel? A gentleman's club, just down the street from St. Michael's. The Don has invested a lot of money in it over the years. So, me and Sam. Regardless, the owner has suddenly decided to do business with Morello instead of us. You want me to go remind him of his obligations? Yes. Then blow the place up. What? If Morello wants to take businesses away from us, he'll inherit craters. Look, Tom, we can't send Paulie and Sam since all the ladies know them already. They'd never make it through the front door. But you can walk right in. Okay. What about the manager? Take care of him wherever you find him. If any of the horse see it, well, it'll be a warning. Once he's out of the way, head to his office on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there and place the explosives. Vincenzo will see that you have what you need. And you think the blast will be big enough to give me cover? Yeah. But be smart. Only take a shot if you know you won't get me. Tommy, one more thing. One of the girls is passing Morello information about our operations. Before you blow the place, you'll need to take care of her, too. You want Tommy to kill a twist? Come on, Frank. It's just bad luck this falls to Tom. But we gotta protect the family. Her name is Michelle. She's usually working one of the upper rooms. Her photo is in the folder. You boys clear on everything? Yeah. Tom. I got it, boss. Then get it done. All right, let's go. Go see Vinny. I'll meet you here. Heard you in the market for something that goes boom. Give those girls a squeeze from Uncle Vin, huh? Not today, Vinny. Don't go any place yet. Gotta hear me out on this. It's about the girl. Michelle? Right. You don't have to rub her out. Just make her disappear. You know her? Yeah. I'd been with her a few times. She's a good egg, Tom. Just maybe not so bright. She doesn't deserve to get plugged just because she likes listening to me talk. You think she'll leave town? When she understands what'll happen otherwise, yeah, she'll leave. Here's a hundred. Give it to her. 
and make sure she gets far away. Okay, sir. I'll see what I can do. That's all I'm asking. Let's go. Michelle, she's the one from the racetrack, right? Tom, that was the last time we're ever gonna talk about her. Ever. I told you what I had to ask, and you listened. Gotta leave it there. Okay. Keep your head when you get into the hotel. Find your mark and don't act suspicious. The manager thinks he's untouchable. You can probably walk right up to him. Anything else I should know? Nah. Just don't take all day. A lot of died young, so there can't be much to say about him. When the bomb goes off, I'll do my thing. Got it. What kind of world is it that when you screw up, you get sent to a cat house? Well, I have to clean up your mess at a funeral. You see the justice in that? I see a job I gotta do. Such a professional. Just try to finish a job this time, huh? First time I've been to a church in a while. Well, I'm gonna guess they're still singing the same songs. Last time I went, it was. Same songs I always heard as a kid. Yeah, you're not the religious type. It's the funerals, Tom. That's all it ever is. All that anyone ever wants to do is point guns at the family and shoot. Game point, there were so many funerals, I just stopped going to most of them. They're all boring as hell. That's a shame, seeing as you're always dressed for the occasion. Great gag, Tom. Write that one down. Thanks. I'll do that. Now, weddings. Weddings are less boring. I'd go to one of them. You working on that? Uh, I guess so. Good. Because I've given up waiting on Polly. I couldn't get a broad to stick to him if they went swimming through Globe. Ah, he'll find someone. Tom, if his own mother has given up hope, then you can give up hope too. Here's your stuff. I'll give the family your condolences. Good luck. You too. Behave yourself in here, okay? Know where I can find the manager? I just watch the door, pal. Hey, handsome. You here for a girl, drinks, or a mix of the two? A girl. And I got some business with your manager, too. A girl I can help you with. Come through. Find a girl you like, and you can both get better acquainted upstairs. There's no rush, so get a drink, relax, and enjoy yourself. Hey, good afternoon, sir. Come through when you're ready. I need to talk to the manager. Yeah, head straight through to the lounge. You're with our uh, new business partners, I assume. Get a room when you get a guy, not before. <sighs> Fine. You know the rules, Dottie. 
Michelle in today. Let me check. She's in, but she's busy. You looking for a good time? Come this way, sweetie. Nah, I'm looking for a friend. Michelle. Sure you are. Come to my room and tell me all about it. I just want to talk. You know, I get to hear that a lot. I bet you're not like all the other guys either, are you? Nah, not really. Where's Michelle? Upstairs in 208. That all you want? That's all I want. <sighs> Wish they were all like you, sweetheart. Come here and say thank you. Ah! Ah! Get out! Get the hell out! You, Michelle? What's it to you? A fella named Sam is one of your regulars. Maybe there's a lot of guys named Sam. You know him. Works for Don Celieri. Maybe you got him talking about our business from time to time, and maybe Don Morello offered you some money to spill what you heard. No, Sam, trust me, I, I don't say nothing, he knows that. But Don's losing a lot of money because someone <laughs> can't keep their mouth shut. I was just bumping guns with some of Morello's girls. I didn't mean nothing by it. Tell him I'm sorry. Tell him I won't never open my mouth again. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! You're scared then? Good. Don't you ever forget how it feels to be this scared. To know you're just one twitch away from a hole in the ground. Because if you ever show your face in this town again, they're gonna find you with two in the head. Do you understand? Lucky for you, Sam's got a big heart. Get dressed and make tracks. This place is gonna blow soon. Thank you. Just don't come back and we're square. Friendship between the Corleone Hotel and the Morello family will be long and fruitful. She's living with.
with us now. Her mama's dead and no one has seen her dad in five years? More, maybe. Clarence got real mad about another mouthful. You must be the manager. Don Celieri sends his regards. Oh, the cops. Crazy out here. 